Section 4. You will hear part of a lecture. about a problem related to the behavior of certain you will hear section 4 you will hear part of a lecture about a problem related to the behavior of certain sea creatures
First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40.
Good afternoon. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, with some of you about to go out on field work, it's timely that in this afternoon's session I'll be sharing some ideas about the reasons why groups of whales and dolphins sometimes swim ashore from the sea right onto the beach and, most often, die in what are known as mass strandings. Almost all fins session. I'll be sharing some ideas about the field work. Noon every to forty.
Good afternoon, everyone. Well, with some of you about to go out on field work, it's timely that in this afternoon's session, I'll be sharing some ideas about the reasons why groups of whales and dolphins sometimes swim ashore from the sea right onto the beach and most often die in what are known as mass strandings. Unfortunately, this type of event is a frequent occurrence in some of the locations that you'll be travelling to. This type of event is mass strandings. Unfortunately, this type of event is a frequent occurrence in some of the locations that you'll be travelling to. where sometimes the tide goes out suddenly, confusing the animals. Where sometimes the tide goes out suddenly, confusing the animals. Where sometimes the tide goes out suddenly, that you'll be travelling to, where sometimes the tide goes out suddenly, confusing the animals. Where sometimes the tide goes out suddenly, Confusing the animals. However, there are many other theories about the causes of mass strandings. The first is that the behaviour is linked to parasites.
Kim Tae-na, Kim Seong-yi 역 3위로 서북코리아 올스타 경기에 나섰고요. 최상위 인원 주장에는 다른 애니메이 코너 비타인 덕분 4주 연속 오른자리에 자리하고 있었습니다. 자, 1점 득점이 부르는지 안 부르는지 모르겠습니다. 마무리는 선수들과 앞으로 기대해 주시면 It's often found that stranded animals were infested with large numbers of parasites. For instance, a type of worm is commonly found in the ears of dead whales. Since marine animals rely heavily on their hearing to navigate, this type of infestation has the potential to be very harmful. Right. For instance, a type of worm is commonly found in the ears of dead whales. Since marine animals rely heavily on their hearing to navigate, this type of infestation has the potential to be very harmful. dead whales. Since marine animals rely heavily on their hearing in the ears of dead whales, for instance, a type of worm is commonly found in the ears of dead whales. For instance, a type of worm is commonly found in the ears of dead whales. Since marine animals rely heavily on their hearing to navigate, Since marine animals rely heavily commonly found in the ears of dead whales, since marine animals rely heavily on their hearing to navigate, whales, since marine animals rely heavily on their hearing to navigate. This type of infestation
has the potential to be on their hearing to navigate, this type of infestation has the potential to be very harmful. Another theory is related to toxins or poisons. These have also been found to contribute to the death of many marine animals. Many toxins, as I'm sure you're aware, originate from plants or animals. The whale ingests these toxins in its normal feeding behaviour, but whether these poisons directly or indirectly lead to stranding and death seems to depend upon the toxin involved. In 1988, for Many toxins found to contribute to the death of many marine animals. Many toxins, as I'm sure you're aware, originate from plants or animals. The whale ingests these toxins in its normal feeding behaviour, but whether these poisons directly or indirectly lead to stranding and death seems to depend upon the toxin involved. In 1988, for example,
ahora, claro que no. Son dos cosas a la hora de los Fourteen humpback whales examined after stranding along the beaches of Cape Cod were found to have been poisoned. After eating tuna that contained saxitoxin, the same toxin that can be fatal in humans. Alternatively, it has also been suggested that some animals strand accidentally by following their prey ashore in the confusion of the chase. In 1995, David Thurston monitored pilot whales that beached after following squid ashore. However, this idea does not seem to hold true for the majority of mass strandings because examination of the animal's stomach contents reveal that most had not been feeding as they stranded. There are also some new theories which link strandings to humans. A growing concern is that loud noises in the ocean cause strandings. Noises such as those caused by military exercises are of particular concern and have been pinpointed as the cause of some strandings of late. One of these, a mass stranding of whales in 2000 in the Bahamas, coincided closely with experiments using a new submarine detection system. There were several factors that made this stranding stand out as different from previous strandings. This led researchers to look for a new cause. For one, all the stranded animals were healthy. In addition, the animals were spread out along 38 kilometres of coast, whereas it's more common for the animals to be found in a group when mass strandings occur. A final theory is related to group behaviour and suggests that sea mammals cannot distinguish between sick and healthy leaders. been suggested that some animals strand
Alternatively, it has also been suggested that some animals strand accidentally by following their prey ashore. in the confusion of the chase. In 1995, David Thurston monitored pilot whales that beached after following squid ashore. However, this idea does not seem to hold true for the majority of mass strandings. However, this idea does not seem to hold true for the majority of mass strandings. Because examination of the animal's stomach contents reveal that most had not been feeding as they stranded. The animal's stomach to hold true for the majority of mass strandings. Because examination of the animal's stomach contents Reveal that most had not been feeding at as they stranded. Animals' stomach contents reveal that most had not been feeding as they stranded. the animal's stomach contents reveal that most had not been feeding as they stranded. There are also some new theories which link strandings to humans. A growing concern is that loud noises in the ocean cause strandings. Noises such as those caused by military exercises are of particular concern and have been pinpointed as the cause. Of some strandings of late. One of these, a mass stranding of whales in 2000 in the Bahamas, coincided closely with experiments using a new submarine detection system. There were several factors that made this stranding stand out as different from previous strandings. This led researchers to look for a new cause. For one, all the stranded animals to look for a new cause. For one, all the stranded animals were healthy. In addition, the animals were spread out along 38 kilometers of coast, whereas it's more common for the animals to be found in a group when mass stranding. ...is of coast. The animals were spread out along 38 kilometers of coast, whereas it's more common for the animals to be found in a group when mass strandings occur.
もう天理に神と会話の時には、うん、あものすごくあああって言ってるけどでもさものすごく僕たちとは人間が関係で分かごとかってないよね気づく気づくのよ私も気づくけどって言うと難しいやつだな気づく気づくってができないものをどの分でこう判断にこう意識的にってことはもうできないよねそうそうに合わないよね絶対神と会話ね必須かぶしてるのに神と会話できないそう韓国で言う人もいるでも一番韓国で僕たちの中で言う人は我が恩に信じん我が意理なので神主で意理だから我が神主でって言うけど信じる自分でって、呼ぶ、ここの国で、信じる、あっちに、まあ、日本あったよ、韓国あったよ、長くて、130度ぐらいよ、天に、天に、ちょっとあっちに、でも絶対絡まないですよ、我が国、ルーキーナンプル、でもおっさん、アニスウェ、ピンヨンソルがさえ、あの、マンスタッフだよ、我が国にドラゴンになんだんでしょ、それが80番。ブワルドンとかでいいよ。マリンメモリーズ・オブ・シッツ。それはね、ヨンマーマー・シッツの時代とブワルドンだね。それが100歳前後でしょ。違う。ラゴ、ギブ・インフォメーション・オブ・アウト・ブ・ンディ・ブロック・ジェラシー・ソーカーズ。それでよぎ、汎用が汎用だよ。ね、当たり前だよ。コンピューターから書いて、ヒゴエ・ハー・オブ・ステンディ・ハーク・パッケージ・ポッケージ・ナウト。コンステンディ・ニュー・ハンキ・ダゲン・ダーダ・インフォメーション・オブ・アウト・シン・クラシー。A final theory is related to group behavior and suggests that sea mammals cannot distinguish between sick and healthy leaders and will follow sick leaders even to an inevitable death. This is a particularly interesting theory since the whales that are thought to be most social, the toothed whales, are the group that strand the most frequently. The theory is also supported by evidence from a dolphin stranding in 1994. Examination of the dead animals revealed that, apart from the leader, all the others had been healthy at the time of their death. Without one consistent theory, however, it is very hard for us to do anything about this phenomenon except to assist animals where and when we can. Stranding networks have been established around the world. To aid in rescuing animals and collecting samples from those that could not be helped. I recommend John Connor's Marine Mammals Ashore as an excellent starting point if you're interested in finding out more about these networks or establishing one yourself. Consistent theory, however, that healthy leaders still can. There were several factors that made this stranding stand out as different from previous strandings. This led researchers to look for a new cause. For one, adultery is related to group behavior. And suggests that sea mammals cannot distinguish between sick and healthy leaders and will follow sick leaders even to an inevitable death. This is a particularly interesting theory since the whales that are thought to be most social. The toothed whales are the group that strand the most frequently. The theory is also supported by evidence from a dolphin stranding in 1994. Examination of the dead animals revealed. 
revealed that, apart from the leader, all the others had been Examination of the dead animals revealed that, apart from the leader, all the others had been healthy. Examination of the dead animals revealed that, apart from the leader, Four. Examination of the dead animals revealed that, apart from the leader, all the others had been healthy at the time of their death. Without one consistent theory, however, it is very hard for us to do anything about this phenomenon except to assist animals where and when we can. Stranding networks have been established around the world to aid in rescuing animals and collecting samples from those that could not be helped. I recommend John Connor's Marine Mammals Ashore. as an excellent starting point. If you're interested in finding out more about these networks, or as an excellent starting point, if you're interested in finding out more about these networks, as an excellent I recommend John Connor's Marine Mammals Ashore as an excellent starting point if you're interested in finding out more about these networks, as an excellent starting point if you're interested in finding out more about these networks or establishing one yourself.